In this video, you will learn about the fetch history functionality that was implemented as part of Cortex XOR 6.8. This feature gives you more visibility to fetching incidents and indicators in the system. Now, in addition to showing the latest number of incidents pulled for an integration, you can view a history of all the latest fetch occurrences. If an integration or feed is not pulling incidents successfully, looking at the fetch history can help you troubleshoot issues and find the root causes as fast as possible. Let's take a look at a few examples. First, in the FireEye Central Management integration, you can see the latest number of incidents that were pulled successfully. 10 incidents were pulled on June 13, 2022 at 4.10 p.m. But what about older fetches? You can access those by clicking the Fetch History button. The integration's fetch history stores up to 20 records for each instance. 20 is the default value, but you can change this number in the server configuration. We recommend that you don't exceed 50 records. Details in the Fetch History window include date and time of the fetch. As you can see here, the pull occurs every minute. Duration of the fetch. Last run. Information about the last run can vary between different integrations and feeds. Here, the last alert IDs and the time fields help prevent fetching duplicate alerts in the next fetch cycle. There is also a message indicating whether the fetch was complete. Was there an error? or did the fetch fail to complete due to a specific reason? Next, if we look at the fetch history for the Abuse SSL blacklist feed, the fetch interval is much longer and the pull occurs every hour. You can see the number of indicators that were pulled in and that the last run includes different information than what we saw in the FireEye history. For SSL, we preserve the last modified field, and for the SSL blacklist and SSL blacklist aggressive, different CSVs are used to only fetch the new indicators in the next fetch. Now let's say you have an integration instance that fetches incidents, some of which were not successful. You can see why it failed. In the fetch history for the ServiceNow V2, you can view details about where the errors occurred and the number of indicators that were pulled. And lastly, you can export the fetch history as a text or CSV file, use it to analyze details, and share it with other users in your organization. This concludes our demo. Thank you for watching, and check out the TechDocs portal for more information.